Romy should always, if at all possible, include the longer term effect. Um, uh, one way to do that is, if you've got an econometric model, to project forward to see how many additional sales you'll get over the next few years. Um, another way of doing it is to sort of have a customer lifetime value type model, um, which it, it effectively does the same thing in a, in a different way by looking at how much people will, how long people will stay with the company, and how much they're likely to spend with that company over time. Um, and it, uh, I think it's often useful to do a ROMI, which is a kind of short, a medium, and a longer term, to give people a sense of, oh. you know, not just does it pay back, but how quickly these things pay back. But one thing that's important is. Um, if you are doing a long-term ROMI, you must uh, account for the, do a net present value calculation to, to take account of the, the time value of money, of how quickly it comes in. Well, I tend to personally offset that against the, the, the RPI inflation. Because one goes up, because the price of grain goes up and that goes down. Um, if you're going to do that net present value calculation, first of all, get, a, get an accountant or, accountant or someone to, to help you with it. And a, a crucial thing there is to know what discount rate yeah. to use. Um, uh, usually, companies will have a policy about that. Their, their finance department will have a, a policy for what is the discount rate that they have to use for making investments. Um, so actually, you can usually yeah. answer that one by talking to the right people within the company.